doing mission inspiration for March. Um, this is the outer touch. There we go. So, um, one of the prompts is handwritten text. So, what I've done is I've written out a few pa little um, bits from uh, Jules Verne, 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea. Um, mostly bits about the the Nautilus and the mechanics of it because the uh, let's have a look at the prop card shall we so it's magnificent machines and I thought that that was you know it's very fitting so um, what I'm going to do first is I'm just going to use I've got a, 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 yeah not much idea of where I want to go but I'm going to start with the cerulean blue and as I did this a few hours ago I did make a few mistakes but it doesn't matter does it? it doesn't matter at all so um ooh, let's use this palette and drop a little bit of the cerulean blue on me so I'll leave a bit of that and let's get some water in there and we will do a wash over the writing. I've treated myself to some new brushes. I got these, it came in a pack of three. Uh, maybe not the bigger one, a smaller one. And then I got a big pack. Mm, not doing anything out there. Oh, weird. Sort of mixed pack of run ankle brushes. A fairly reasonable price. From the range. I just thought, I just needed some new brushes. Really, some nice ones. Okay, so here we go. So I've let that dry, the ink dry for quite a few hours. It's a waterproof pen. But just wanted to make sure it was dry. Before I did this, I didn't want to smudge at all. Really? I think I want to throw some cogs and things in there. So, what next? That's a good question. <laughs> See, I, I can see all the elements, but I don't know how they're going to come together. So the, uh, I think I know what I'm going to use for the fabric, but how? How is that going to match with the rest of the page? Hmm. Colours. This is red, the berry red. Mm, not sure how to incorporate that. 
crop will be easy, I think. We've got cerulean blue. Maybe I won't use the red. I don't have to use all the colours. We will see. So, perhaps I will go away. Have a little think about where it's going next. And I'll be right back. So I've cut out some uh, cogs and gears from with the Tim Holtz Big Shots die, and I'm going to use my Arteza gouaches. Uh, here we go. Um, and we've got this colour, which is um, labelled bronze, but it's quite it's close enough to copper for me. This is um, paper from my artist's sketchbook. I pulled some pages out because, you know, with mixed media, your books get quite chunky, so sometimes it's a good idea to pull some pages out to allow for the spread. Give you a bit of breathing room. Make sure I'm staying in the shop, shall I? <laughs> Not really fussed if these aren't evenly covered, you know, it'll add to that distressed look. So that's going to get my cogs into my page and also my metallic paint and the copper colour. I don't know how I'm going to arrange this yet but we can sort that out soon. I'm really just going with the flow on this one. Some of them are just off the edge, which is fine. You can use that for corner pieces if we need to, or hide it behind something, or the other ears. Let's just have a touch more water. Nice big one. It's got a lovely, lovely shimmer to it, which I don't know if you can see. my hands <laughs> a bit more water oops upside down One hiding under it. And a little bit of that one. And there we go. I think that's all of them. So we'll let that dry again and then figure out what the next step is. First, <laughs> uh, okay. 
Okay, so I'm going to stick my cogs down. Just going to use this arm's glue. Just click the nozzle a little bit. A bit hard there. <laughs> okay, so you are gonna clean up some of that excess. Grab that one. Put a bit of weight on it in a minute. stuck down and so pop something on it. Uh, keep that by playing again. some of these mistakes okay and then I've got a scrap of fabric and a dictionary definition Dictionary definition for machine. There we go. And now I'm just going to find something flat to hold all that down, and when it's dry, we'll come back. 
So I have this little printout of a sort of steampunk inventor guy. The clothes didn't come out great. I don't know what's wrong with my printer. It might be running out of ink. I'm not sure, but yeah, it's okay. He's a crazy inventor. So I'm just putting it on a stick of paper. So I'm just peeling the backing off. And we're going to pop him here, maybe. Let's put it there. Operators there. Team jets coming out the back. There we go. Um, I have a quote that I'm going to use. I'm just going to put that down. Just printed it off of my label maker. Let's see how I do on this invention. Okay, let's have that, and then all we need to do is find a border, and this page is finally done. That's not straight, but it doesn't matter. Yes. Frogs outside. <laughs> funny noises. It's going dark now. What time is it? 8 o'clock. So the clocks went forward the other day. dark later on in the evening which is nice it's only just starting to get really dark you can still see a hint a tiny hint of sunlight over there <laughs> uh, yeah i think i'm up there actually so it kind of there we go and a border Next year, I'm using another project. These, yeah, these are dimensions. So I think I'm gonna have this wibbly wobbly border, and I'm gonna grab black archival. And I know that this is not gonna stamp perfectly because of the texture of the cogs and everything. And I'm okay with that. A rough border is fine. I like it.
smoke because it's nothing serious, I'm sure. We're always coughing like that. <laughs> okay. I really like that actually. It kind of looks like it's got that underwater feel to it, which is quite cool, you know, considering the, uh, the literature that I used in the background. <laughs> okay, do I want anything else? Um, white splatters, I think. <laughs> now, paint palette, splash of white. Some water. Oh, there's a little my fan brush. There's a little fan brush. Hopefully this will just bring it all together. is going to be everything. Maybe. <laughs> yeah, I think I could go on and do some grounding and outlining the woods, but I don't think I need to really. leave it at that nice and simple and we've got white paint everywhere including my top lip which is just sitting on the side here so let's wipe that off quick there we go okay so let's move that out of the way pop that in the center and uh, that's my page let's grab a pen just use this nifty harry potter one and there's a little gap here let's write in here so uh, let's date it with today's date, it's 29th, so you'll probably be seeing this in April. There we go. Just check it, yeah, we just need to write M I to denote that it's mission inspiration. There we go. Not a bad page after all, is it? Um, a little bit weird, but we got all the prompts in. Didn't get the red colour in, but we knew that wasn't going to happen, didn't we? I don't think the red would add anything for me to this page, so yeah, happy with that actually. Thank you for watching, and I hope to see you again soon. Bye-bye.